let's talk about some of the negatives about the Huawei Watch Fit 2. To be completely honest, this is actually a very good watch and actually it's uh, one of the better watches that you can currently purchase and these things I will talk about this video mostly are very minor things. Some of them are only maybe a deal breaker for some, but overall this watch is incredibly good. The step counter, for example, is one of the most accurate you can get. It's even a more accurate than for example like Apple Watch or even more accurate than way more accurate than Garmin which costs like four times more much more accurate than Fitbit, Xiaomi and pretty much all other watches and it's pretty much just as good as a Samsung Galaxy watch which costs way more so nice work so you were basically also the basically the the sensors on the back also are very good and the system is kind of fast this year has got very good speaker and all kinds of great stuff if you want to check out all the great stuff make sure you check out my full review on this watch anyway to the negatives so there are some which i will basically guide you through so first one uh, let's start an exercise for example okay so let's just let's start something Okay, let's start without GPS and this is the thing. Uh, so, if uh, when you are starting an exercise and while you are in exercise, it's actually a very good uh, system and how it tracks exercise, the GPS good, everything is very good and you can even control music, you can even see the sunrise and sunset while in this exercise mode and you can go back. So, all kinds of great stuff and actually really like this stuff. However, the thing is, we can't exit this exercise mode and do something else, really. And uh, once, so, uh, on some other watches, for example, let's uh, take, uh, like, the Samsung watch, for example. Let's uh, start an exercise. So, okay. And just to show you. So, exercise started. And what if we actually want to do something else on the watch? We can't do that on the Huawei watch fit. So, but on the Samsung, we can easily exit this exercise mode. And the exercise mode will be uh, running in the background. And we can continue doing everything we want with the watch, with the Huawei watch, watch fit 2. Basically, we can't do that. So, we can on this watch just uh, quickly go back to the exercise and it's running in the background and it's all nice so you can return and do whatever you need on this one you can't do that so once you start an exercise it's basically bricked in this exercise mode and that completely sucks really you can't really do anything else while you are in exercise also uh, this button once you press it it pauses an exercise so that sucks and you can't really, I mean the function is good that you can do that, but we need a way to actually remove this function because I have had this button press accidentally while I'm walking and doing an exercise and it just presses sometimes and it pauses in the exercise itself and I'm not even aware that it's paused. So, and it doesn't really get recorded. We need a way to actually remove this function and there's no way to do that. Okay, talking about the button itself. Also, uh, we can't really customize this button to, uh, to do anything. For example, uh, let's uh, again check the Galaxy Watch and we can simply double press to launch a flashlight, for example. I have set it up to this uh, function basically and you can set it up just for like any task you want. So we can customize the button to like a hotkey and you can do it on pretty much most watches. You can't do that on this watch. It doesn't really do anything and there's no function. Even on the much cheaper uh, watches, you can do that. On this one, there's no way to do that. Then also notifications. As the notification system is actually uh, kind of good on this watch, I can't really show you. So don't have any notifications, but you can't really reply to the notifications apart from uh, sending some quick replies like yes, no, I'm on my way. And you can customize these uh, quick reply notifications, but you can't uh, like write or uh, say something and uh, reply to that notification itself. Uh, yeah, on the Apple, like uh, on the Samsung and other watches, you can do that. So on this one, yeah, uh, I'm not sure if it's that huge deal breaker or what, but yeah, that's something to consider that you can't really apply to the notifications as you want. Uh, then, okay, let's check this weather out. Uh, 
the weather up. Uh, also, the, I actually like this weather up here, kinda, but it's missing some features. So, you can check what we get, and the system layout is actually very nice, and it's very nice to overview. You got this uh, when the sun and moon will appear, and moon phase and tides. However, it lacks, again, some basic functions that other watches have. For example, it doesn't show your wind, uh, like it doesn't show your fields like temperature, and doesn't show your pressure and stuff like that. But just a very, very basic stuff that all of the other watches have. So I like the layout of this uh, weather app and how it looks, but it just misses a lot of those functions that the other watches have. Next two things that suck on this watch are the timer and the stopwatch. Well, uh, maybe it's for some it doesn't uh, suck if you're not using these functions, but personally I use them a lot for just like basic everyday tasks. Uh, so, the timer itself when we launch it, it's actually kind of good. The design is nice, and you can set custom timers, you can set quick timers, it's a very nice system. However, can you hear something? It has this annoying ticking sound and you can't remove it. And it's actually quite loud. I'm not sure if you can pick it up. But it's uh, it's like annoying ticking sound and there's no option to remove it. I This first time I'm seeing it on any watch really that these have a sound. I think this is better than stopwatch. So you can see just how... I mean, it's uh, like a weird sound, and we can't really remove this sound uh, unless we go into some um, like sleep mode or turn off the sound completely on the whole watch. But we we don't get an option to remove this stupid feature, and yeah, uh, the sounds aren't very nice. Again, this is some very very minor thing. However, what isn't minor thing? When we start a timer, okay, when we start the timer and we can go back however we don't get an option to like see the remaining time of the timer or the stopwatch on the main screen basically um, for on my galaxy watch and apple watch uh, you can do that for example um, on the apple watch we can set a timer as you can see let's sorry okay let's set a timer basically uh, for 10 minutes and we can go back and we can see that this is the remaining time the timer on the watch race. We don't have to go anywhere, basically. On this one, we don't get uh, such ability to put this on the main screen if we want to. Again, for a lot of people, yeah, it, uh, it's no problem and the most won't care. But if you care about the timers and stopwatch, I'm just uh, showing you. Uh, you can see the uh, basically the remaining time. Okay, let's set it again and when you swipe like this you can see in these notifications uh, so you can still see it but you can't see it on the like mind watch face so you have to go somewhere you can't quickly glance to see just how much time has elapsed or passed in the stopwatch as well so that kind of sucks then another thing about this timer and stopwatch uh, we can't really put it on the main screen as you can see I have placed the timer and stopwatch quick launch actions on the Apple Watch on the screen and also on the Samsung Watch. So, for example, I can press the timer on the uh, main screen and set a timer uh, directly and it's very easy and very fast. On this watch, we don't get that ability. Uh, we can still customize these buttons, for example, let's change this one. Okay. We can, as you can see, you can still customize this and you can click some, so it's not that bad. It's just missing some of the features that it actually should have. Um, so yeah, again, a very minor thing. So you can change this, as you can see, uh, to what you want, basically. You can show, change the data. However, you got a very, very limited choice as to what you can do. So you can't really put on any shortcuts or stuff like that. And the customization is nowhere that of the other watches really. Again, if you don't don't use this thing, it's a no bother for you probably. Okay, then let's talk about the apps. 
Uh, so uh, when you actually get this watch, it actually uh, claims that it has uh, like a watch store, uh, like app store, sorry. Uh, so you, where you can download additional apps and then, then it, it's so cool and stuff like that. But the reality is in that app store, there are only like 10 apps and it's completely useless that app store and the apps they have are like uh, clunky and uh, half broken basically. So you can uh, like uh, download these petal maps and compass navigation but uh, honestly they, they, they completely suck really and they're completely useless and you only get like 10 apps in total in that whole app store so whereas uh, for like uh, samsung or the apple again i'm just comparing so uh, you get like tens of dif tens of thousands of different apps on this one you get like 10 apps so i'm not really sure uh, what's the point of that app store and why is it even prompting it so much i'm not sure maybe with time more developers will come and add more apps however currently it's completely useless then uh, uh, when we talk about the apps it misses another crucial app and that is a calculator it does not have a calculator and that's that's actually quite huge i'm not sure i even on like five dollar china watches they do have a calculator literally every single uh, smartwatch does have a calculator but this one does not have so yeah and the calculator on these watches actually uh, it's actually quite useful and you can quickly calculate things and yeah i use this quite often and you don't get such simple app on this watch then also the sleeping Again, this is extremely minor, but let me show you. When you basically enter the sleep mode, this is what you get. So you still get a screen like this, uh, which tells you time. It will basically fade away with some time. However, there's no way to actually disable this, uh, uh, this screen completely at the night. On some other watches, you can do that. So uh, it, uh, it kind of still uh, puts out some light and it will disturb you. For example, when you accidentally brush the watch at night accidentally, it will light up and it will, it will still illuminate something uh, in a completely dark room. So if you are a light sleeper, this might even wake up. And yeah, this is some a thing that I don't really like, that you can't disable this altogether and get like a completely black screen or lock it out somehow. So yeah, maybe maybe 99% of the people uh, won't care probably about the thing. However, if you are that 1% like me, yeah, this is the thing. And lastly, let's talk about the battery life. So uh, I think uh, this watch promised like uh, almost like a two week uh, battery life. I'm not sure exactly how many days, but something around that. The, the Huawei watches basically have promised always like two week battery life. However, in my experience in real life usage, I'm really getting like a week and that's and I'm not really a huge uh, power user and I barely actually uh, do any exercise. I'm a lazy sucker basically. So I don't really track anything much and I have I don't have this uh, uh, screen always on. So I make sure I can only uh, like enable it when I press the screen. I don't even have that motion detection which turns on the screen because I don't like it. I like it to be black all the time. So I'm getting a week without uh, really even tracking anything much. And uh, yeah, that's kind of let down uh, maybe for some. I mean, this battery life is still uh, kind of good. When you compare uh, to the Apple Watch, that one gets like like maximum two days really. So way better than the competition, but still as uh, it's it doesn't, it won't last those two weeks that it promises especially if you try to actually start to use uh, this watch for its full potential yeah overall these are some of the things which uh, i didn't really like that much about this watch after using it for some time and testing it out properly so but again uh, most of these things uh, maybe it's, you don't really care about this such stuff and for example i don't really care about some other stuff as well uh, for example like they might there might be more stuff but i simply don't bother about some other stuff 
Uh, so these are just some things that I actually use every day and uh, what I have find useful on other watches and which I prefer on the other watches. Overall, this watch is a very, very good watch and I can still highly recommend it. Just I was showing you and making you aware of these minor negative things that might sway your buying decision. Anyway, for example, the screen is absolutely awesome on this uh, watch basically and the uh, operating system is also very nice looking and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a really, really nice uh, watch and the system feels uh, kind of fast and everything feels just very, very nice. Also, it has got an inbuilt speaker and the sound quality actually is incredibly good on this watch and I actually love listening to the music just on the watch itself without even using like a headphones. So that's very cool. Uh, the case also, even if it says it's a plastic case, it literally feels like a metal case and it looks uh, very premium. I'm not a fan of this uh, strap, uh, but the case itself, it's uh, actually very good. And you can see uh, it kind of looks pretty much exactly like the Apple watches. So it's very stylish actually. And yeah, the design is very nice as well. And again, the step counter on this thing is extra, extra accurate. And yeah, very nice. And yeah, overall excellent watch. And if it weren't for those minor things, I would actually maybe wear this watch and swap from my Samsung. Actually, that was my plan uh, to maybe replace my Samsung watch with this one because this has got much better battery life. However, I, I can't really do that because the Samsung is way better. So in pretty much most ways. And yeah, I really think that uh, Huawei has done a really good job with this watch, especially when we compare to the uh, previous generation, the Watch Fit 1. So the system is so much better and you got actually 32 gigs of internal storage in this watch as well. And it's a huge improvement. And again, all the sensors are top end basically. Anyway, if this was helpful, make sure to hit the like button. See you.